congratulations on your purchase of the EMST 150 Expiratory Muscle Strength Trainer. The trainer you have invested in is an exercise tool used to increase the strength of your expiratory muscles, the muscles that help you to exhale or breathe out. This video will guide you through the proper use, training, and care of your new EMST 150. Let's get started. The key to successful training is to think five. That's right, the number five. You will do your training by completing five sets of exercises five days a week for five weeks. Once you've unpacked your trainer, the first step is to adjust the spring to the proper tension for you. Turning the valve clockwise makes it more difficult to exhale, while turning the valve counterclockwise makes it easier. To begin, uncap the EMST 150 and insert the mouthpiece into the EMST 150. Okay, now let's determine where to start your training. The first step is to measure your maximum expiratory strength, and you can do that by simply using the device. First, place the nose clip provided with your package on your nose. Next, turn the blue knob on the EMST 150 until the small screw on the bottom of it lines up with the number 30. Take a deep breath in. Insert the EMST mouthpiece in your mouth behind your teeth. Make a tight lip seal around the mouthpiece. Don't breathe any air out until the mouthpiece is securely in place. You can use the hand that is not holding the device to help you secure your lips around the mouthpiece if needed. Next, blow hard and fast through the device until air rushes through, then stop. If you were able to accomplish the previous steps easily, turn the knob clockwise one quarter turn and repeat the same steps. Continue to do this turning the knob clockwise until you are unable to move air through the device easily. This stopping point will be the maximum pressure you are able to create and will serve as the starting point for your first week of training. Now, breathe normally for about five minutes to let your expiratory muscles recover. Now that you have determined your maximum expiratory strength, you're ready to start your first week of training. Are you ready to get stronger? Once again, think five. To begin, you're going to turn the knob one quarter turn counterclockwise from where you determined your maximum expiratory strength level. The reason we ask you to do this is because we want to start training your muscles at about 75% of your maximum strength. Pick a time of day where you have time to train and are not tired. It will take you between 20 to 30 minutes per day. Picking the same time each day is also recommended. You can either sit or stand, although we recommend sitting down when you're doing the exercises. Remember, during week one, you will train five days at this initial setting, and then the levels will be adjusted. Ready to start? Place the nose clip on your nose. Take a deep breath in, do not breathe out. Place the mouthpiece in your mouth behind your teeth and secure your lips tightly around it. You can hold or press the sides of your cheeks if needed. Breathe out as hard and fast as you can using your chest and stomach muscles to push air through the device. This breathing effort should only last a couple of seconds for the air to move through. Rest for a minimum of 15 to 30 seconds. Do not skip resting in between breaths. Your muscles need time to prepare for the next attempt. Repeat this exercise five times. Then you take a minute break. We call this a five breath trial. After the one minute break, do another five breath trial. Then take another one minute break. You need to do five, five breath trials for a total of 25 training breaths each day. If you feel lightheaded at any time during the exercise, stop 
and discontinue. Record the date and time the exercises were completed. At the end of training week one, you will move the knob on the device one quarter turn clockwise and begin training for week two. If you feel you can turn the knob to a higher level, then do so. But remember, air must move freely through the device without extreme effort. On weeks three, four, and five, you will continue training in the same manner. After the five weeks of training has been completed, continue to train at the final setting you achieved in week five. During the maintenance program, you will train three days per week, 25 breaths into the device. Over the course of the maintenance program, if you feel that the knob can be turned to a higher level, then do so. Always remember that training with the device should never cause extreme breathing effort or fatigue. If at any time you are uncomfortable or short of breath when doing these exercises, stop immediately and rest. You are now on your way to better health and better breathing. Your EMST 150 trainer should be cleaned weekly. Do not use any harmful cleaning agents such as bleach or ultrasonic cleaning. The trainer is not dishwasher safe. In order to clean it, simply remove the mouthpiece from the unit. Set the unit aside as it should not be immersed in water. Take the mouthpiece and gently wash it with mild hand or dishwashing liquid in warm water. Once clean, put the mouthpiece aside to dry. Once again, thanks for purchasing the EMST 150 Expiratory Muscle Trainer.